Okay, um, let's see if we've got sound. I've got my phone right here beside me. Um, waiting to see if um, the signal is going through. So that's kind of interesting. I can see myself now. All right, okay. So we do actually have sound. Great. Oh, oh wait, I have to turn my own thing off. There. Um Okay, so we've got sound. Um The next thing I'm wondering Hello Um G four J? Is it is it like Gadge? Or like um Is it like a like a visual thing, you know, with the with the four? The visual, like a graphic thing, graphical thing. Okay. Um, so okay, so I know that I have sound. This is great. Um, because last time I did this, um, sound was a big issue. Um, and I think the audio quality is 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 good as well. Um, you you tell me. Um, so, hmm, let's see, so, okay, um, what I'm kind of going to do today is, um, uh, I have some poetry concepts in, in my con world that I'll be, like, um, fleshing out a bit, it's, and we'll see if that's interesting. If not, maybe I'll just do some uh, some smoits. Um, and uh, I don't know. Um, one thing I do want to check, though, is whether or not um, the music is too loud. So I'm going to put on the music, and, and you tell me if it's, if it's too loud. Like, or if you can even hear it, that's, like... Number one. Um, so, how's this as it is right now? Um, like, can you hear my voice over it? Um, and is it this one is this one is kind of boring. Um, uh, it's it's like it's just um, some lo-fi music that I. Um, uh, that's like, st uh, stream safe. So, it's, is it like, kinda too loud? Or can you kinda hear it? Is, is what I'm wondering. Um, beat up, because I can, you know. Uh, turn it up and down and everything. I can... I, I know my way around a computer. I can go on the internet. Okay. So... What I'm gathering is that it works... Fine. Okay. But yeah, as I said, um, it's it's mostly gonna be like a, a poetry slash world building um, thing today. And so what I had in mind was um, in alien culture, and my aliens are the ones that you know they're it's their language that I'm always um, commenting on. Uh, Smoits in and the uh, bi-weekly telephone game and stuff like that um, So the Adians they're uh, calcolithic people they that means that their main um, their main uh, Material for um, making tools and whatnot. That's it's copper um, They're uh, 
horticultural society, and they do also practice um, 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 herding of animals and such. The her herding, but yeah, you you know what I mean. Oh, actually, hey, um, we just got a new smoid. I think I'm gonna do that, actually. Because it looks like a new one has just been posted. Um, a new one, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get, uh, if it would care to load. I'm working with, uh, with a, a 2014 MacBook Air here. So, gather from that what you will. Um, okay. The sentence here, I'm gonna bring it up here for y'all to see. The sentence is, the sentence is, this was discussed in the newspapers. This sh this one shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, it, it's a nice one. It's it's a nice and like I feel like this one should be easy. So now you, you now you get to see how I how I do it at least. Um, so I'm gonna go to quote block here. Um, so this was discussed in the newspapers. Um, so I should have, I made a bunch of words for like discussion and um, like talking about like making decisions and such. Um, so I should have a word for like discussing. And if I don't, then, hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, because I have a word here for like um like a decision right um and so what do you do when you when you discuss you uh you're trying to find uh like you're, you're trying to come to a decision right so I'm think I've got like I could derive some kind of like verb of motion from that um, because you're moving towards um, a decision so I can actually let's see here um, I gotta get my old alien uh, document here because um, old alien um, essentially had um, an infix that could derive um, 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 verbs of motion from nouns from whatever. Um, and it should, right, okay. So, what I would do. Is derive. So we've got bitha here. That means um, that's an idea, a decision, a, a, um, a resolution of some kind. And so bitha then would be oh would be verb meaning to discuss. Uh, rather simply, so what are we looking at here? Um, so you're discussing. So in whenever I make an alien verb, I have to think about the valency of that verb because um, there's this whole semantic valency thing in Adian that I won't get into now, but it's um, it's just something I constantly have to consider. Um, so 
it, this could be divalent, right? Um, this could actually don't remember if that word in Danish is uh, with one or two T's. Uh, let me just look that up. The word is discutia, and yeah, okay, so it's it's with one T. Maybe I should have searched for that initially. Um, uh, but anyway, discutia, discutia, all right. Oh, ambulance. Um, um, so, you discuss something, um, that would most likely be in the oblique case. No, wait, actually, so that would be in the accusative case. And that's what case because this is in Danish. Um, oh yeah, so my all my conlanging is done in Danish because that's my native language. Um, um, <laughs> and I should have a word for just this. For some reason, I can never remember what it is. Uh, there. Right. Okay. So. This. And obviously, Adians don't have newspapers. Um, so, actually, does anyone. Okay, so we have one viewer right now. So, you, the viewer, um, any good idea for like a parallel, um, like a, an equivalent of a newspaper in a society that doesn't have newspapers or writing for that matter? Um, I'm thinking like at a meeting or something like that because I know I have a word for that. Um, a meeting. Wait. Oh, so now I'm now I'm typing in 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 um in in English here. Um. Okay. Cool. So we have um zero viewers. Uh, that that's great. <laughs> and now there's an ad on Spotify. Um, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't wish for anything better. I think it, this might be boring. Um, but anyway, so, uh, there should be, like, a word in Aiden for, like, a council or a, uh, oh yeah, okay, moto, right. So this is a meeting slash council, like a uh, like the it's the it's an abstract noun for the the situation of uh, discussion and uh, 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 yeah okay so so this works um moto this would be mogito right so it's because it's um, um, what do you call it? Um, it's, uh, definite. And it's, um, in the indirect case. There's Mogito And discuss, we just, uh, got a word for that. Right, there was... Bip... Bip... Tha... Bip tha... Yeah, okay, so what I've done here is that I have, hmm, is that really, yeah, okay, is that this verb, bipta, um, I've put it in the imperfect um, um, aspect, just to show that, um, like, this, the discussion took place over a longer period of time. Now, uh, no, wait, now I'll add IPA. This one, um, boop, boop, boop. um, so the two of you that are here, how are you? Um, it looks like the world is, um, 
is, you know, finding its way back into its uh, former shape. Oh, I forgot to turn on the music again. So, this should be... Just tell me if it's too loud, because I I have no idea whether or not, whether or not it is. Um, Mogi, Mogi Toad. That's great to hear, Davy. So, um, this is a passive construction. This was being discussed at the meeting. Uh, and now we just gotta gloss it. You know, with, with, uh, you know, with how long this took me to translate, um, I'm sure, um, oh, what's his name? The guy who m makes the Kira language. Well, my point is he's, he probably, well, they, sorry, I don't, um, they probably got, got here before me, so, uh, thought. Um, there. This, wait, why am I writing the freaking? My brain seems to like turn off when I stream. I say after having streamed um twice before, so I don't don't really know. But um, uh, so this, this nominative. Uh, definite. Mm. The nom. Uh, the uh, meeting was the word. Um, and we had the indirect case along with um. This cause. Uh, that was the imperfect, imperfective, whatever. Um, and our passive, passive, yeah, yes, because it was, um, an accusative, uh, verb, like a, a verb that takes an accusative, um, complement. Right, and now we just gotta make them line up. Oh. And there it is, I have nothing more to say about this. And let's reload, and uh, let's see if I, if my prediction uh, was true. You can see there's three comments, and oh, well, somebody got here before me and the Kira person. Is mine not here yet? Oh, here it is. Anyway, okay, so we just, I just did a smoid. Fine, let's. That's that's super. Um, so maybe now I can get back to what I was actually gonna do. Um, essentially, in Asian culture, uh, music, but uh, specifically singing, is very very important. Um, when uh, so their uh, religion is based on the idea that. Um, uh, like the problem that they're trying to solve with their religion. All religions have some kind of a problem that they want to solve. And the problem in Asian religion, uh, the problem in Asian religion is that humans and generally everything living on like on the earth, on, like under the heavens, um, are cut off from some piece of uh, divine knowledge above that's being uh, held by the gods. And um, 
so one way to like to solve that problem is to get closer to divinity and how do you do that well you um you pissing uh the gods because if you basically um evoking speaking to the gods not no well not speaking to but singing to the gods um make them listen essentially and um honoring the gods uh can is thought to you know uh, be able to provoke them into you know giving them your uh, their um giving you their their gifts um the, uh, gi uh, blessing you essentially with some piece of knowledge um in 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 Adian theology um the gods are um idealized uh, superhuman versions of um, of humans and they occupy the same uh, societal roles as humans like there's a shepherd god and there's a god of um, uh, blacksmiths and there's a god of you know uh, different professions and so in your day-to-day -day life you know to get better uh, at what you're doing uh, you want the blessing of the god that is associated with your particular profession. And as said, one way to um, um, make the gods more likely to uh, bless you um, is to sing to them. Um, um, and, and to perform uh, poetry for them, essentially. Um, it's sort of, um, it, it, it goes from the very, uh, um, um, like one's profession, like it's one thing, you know, like I am a blacksmith and therefore I will, uh, besing the, uh, God of, of, uh, smithing and such. But, um, it can also be like at a much smaller scale. So for example, um, if you're out picking berries and you feel like you're messing up you might want to sing to the the god of um um uh trees and fruits and such uh because like if you're you know spilling the berries everywhere and you're uh just messing up in general uh that might be you know you might want that extra bit of help so what i'm writing right now is a piece of poetry it's it's a lyrical thing um written in like uh, according to a uh, um a specific adian meter um and this person is trying to get better at uh, uh making water boil um right wait is that it uh uh, da, 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 da. oh yo yeah so this person is um boiling um water from a salt spring to extract the salt and so it just like to uh speed up that process of um of um of boiling the water and making it reduce um this person is singing to um the the god associated with this so what i have so far is um essentially this says uh welcome to the pot um addressing the water first um and oh um i actually forgot what, what this word was Oh yeah, so it says you shall become speed. Yeah, speed the boiling water. Yeah. Um. Uh. So it says here you shall um be boiled into a um 
a substance uh, that um, that strengthens or no lengthens the um, the lifespan of meat is what it said because salt preserves um, meat and such like when you're making jerky or stuff like that um, or when you're curing meat um, and and f and um, f for this purpose. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Like I am, I'm blowing onto the the cinders, uh, to, um, trying to make them um, flame up. Is basically it. And uh, spoken in the in the the alien meter of these kinds of um, it's like a tiny little hymn, um, actually. So uh, spoken in the in in the meter of this hymn, it's. Dilshuya matau to be kupimu mithai gasta pipi pikadasta wae ba matakae kuwaoya meu kita mumul no sorry meu kita mumil kirum mau subitau ka pat so it's it's a meter where every um line consists of a dactyl a an iamb and an uh, an anceps or ancaps depending on how you pronounce it. And then uh, this that um, piece gets repeated, but with an added I am. So it goes pam pa 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 pam 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 pa 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 pam pa pam pam. Essentially. So the next though, um, here the person has said, "Welcome to the pot. You're gonna become salt. I'm blowing on the cinders." Um, and this is where I think uh, that person should start addressing the particular um, the particular uh, God associated with whatever they're doing and so this might actually um, not be something I have figured out yet because it could go uh, d different ways so at the very so these are not ordered in any kind of way they're just in the um, in the order of like, like how I wrote them. At the top of the hierarchy is the um, the the uh, god uh, Urba. Oh, when it says you're going to become salt, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing when you're addressing salt water. Oh, also high chair um, or Ben or yeah, sorry. Uh, so um, it's it's a good thing. When you're sitting there with a pot of um, salt water that you want to reduce down to salt, um, so you're telling the water you're going to become salt, um, and the now I'm going to try to like figure out which god would be appropriate to speak to in this context. So at the top of the hierarchy, we've got Urba, who's the um, god of Food and cooking and uh, housework, uh, cleaning, um, everything regarding the home, and non-alcoholic fermentation as well, as well as marriage. So it's about stability and um, feeling safe. Sa safety and instability is basically what Urba stands for. So this could definitely be an Urba thing because, you know... Salt is used in a lot of uh, non-alcoholic fermentation. Um, but since this person is also like blowing on the the cinders to make it go faster to like get the fire going, uh, this could just as well be a job for Udi, and Udi is the god of um, smithing. Smithing is that the word? Uh, smithing. Um, of heat, of warmth, of uh, fire, and such, um, and war as well. Um, so the question is really if this person here should be addressing uh, both gods or just one, because 
with both of them, that would be easy, but I don't think that would be very much in line with the whole alien. Uh, no, it wouldn't really fit. Um, but, like, the goal is something associated with Urbatov, non-alcoholic fermentation. But it's happening through a process that would be associated with Udi. Uh, so I think I'm going to dedicate this hymn to to Udi. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. So this could be we could start with the with the vocative. I Udi. So, um, there should be like a word for like to magnify. So, um, no, there isn't. Okay, but my idea would be like so. Uh, this person is addressing Udi and saying. Uh, Udi, help me magnify these flames or something. Um, I have a word for help. I know that for a fact. Uh, oh. Oh, I do. Huh. Uh, wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on just a minute. Um... Kida. Ah, uh, something is wrong with the meter here. Um, this word does not mean what it. Maybe it's. No. Huh. Okay. So we've got a. We actually have some uh uh, damage here to fix. Right, okay. It says here. So we, we've got a, a, a subordinate clause here. It says, in order for you to become uh, salt and everything, uh, I, um, up, 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 what the heck is... Oh yeah, I'm starting to, I am beginning to uh, magnify basically the the cinders. Oh wait, um, uh, huh? This is quite the 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 pickle. Or something. Mm. Wiki. Oh, so okay, so it says I just had to like re recall the whole thing. So it it says here, um, I am blowing with uh, using my my two cheeks, essentially. Um. Helping it along is like helping the the fire along. Um, uh, be, and it says like like uh, beginning to uh, beginning to like help the fire along. Okay, so we have to replace keto with something because it does. It doesn't mean what I thought it meant, um, because I was uh, wasn't paying attention when I wrote this. Um, so we need something that fills out those two. Um, those two um, syllables, two short syllables. Um, Oh, okay. So wait, um, we actually need. Oh, and I just 
I forgot this as well. We need a, a plural marker here. So this could actually be filled out with my two my my two cheeks. Yeah. Alright, okay, so we fixed that. We fixed it. <laughs> um Oh dear. Um now we had to oh right, so it was in like it was uh we have to evoke the god of the forge Udi. So this person might say um oh Udi um give me strength or something. Right? That would that's pretty it's it's kind of like cliche, but I think it would work. So we could say like, um, do I have a word for strength? I do. It's okay. Um. Oh, I have two words for strength. Um. I wonder what that haha -ha was was for. So I have two words for strength. Um and they're basically synonymous. Except one is also one also means blood. That's what this is one. Mati means blood, but also power or strength. The same goes for pika, except pika doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean blood and um, oh um, I think Bika would oh wait Um, this is probably not very interesting at all, I'm just realizing that, um, hmm, I need to figure out, because when you, um, decline an alien noun, um, stuff happens with, um, consonant, um, uh, like gemination and stuff, so, like, for example, We've got a word like mati, but if I put it in the accusative, it's suddenly matya. And now there's an ad on Spotify, so I'm going to turn down the sound. Um, mati and matya. Uh, but also, but when it's the nominative, it's mate. But when it's the oblique definite, it's mate. And... Um, it's so I need to just take that into account is what I'm saying I'm just rambling at this point um, so we need a um, we need a short syllable Before I we need oh wait so this one when we this would work perfectly actually uh, I udi matikya I udi matikya all right okay so. What what is happening here is that we've got evocative. It's kind of evocative. It's kind of an like a catch-all particle. It does literally everything in Adian. Um, so we've got um, this evocative thing. We've got udi mat uh, matigya. So this is mati. It's blood or power. Um, and this is the combined um, ending. Um, 
off. Um, like it's it's a it's a mixed it's a synthetic ending um, between uh, like singular definite and accusative. So I actually kind of want to show how that happened. Um, it's kind of fun. So we've got a uh, old Indian word here, mati. No, mate was the um, old form. Uh, and I'm just gonna show a few different forms here. Uh, ma the mate. So, in here we have just the oblique. It's like the the most basic form. Um, here we have the um, uh, the definite form. Here we have the um, the uh, the accusative form, and here we have the uh, definite accusative form. So usually, when you want to mark the accusative, you get this ya yeah here. It's present everywhere in the text. So in dilchu ya yeah here, and it's present in kaiguao uh, ya. That's um, that's accusative, accusative as well. Um, and usually, it just it's just a ya that gets tacked on to the word. But in this case, here, mate became mati in uh, Adian. And um, I should probably, like, I could do, like, um, so mategi became ma te, which became mate. Oh, mate, and this one uh, became mati ya, which became matia, and this one uh, mati. This became mat. This was kept as mati ya for historical reasons. Uh, and became matigya, and this one even in some dialects of Adian, this is matingya. Um, so it's words like these are really just freaking cool to me, I think. Um, but you know when so, but the cool thing here is like when you start to, um, uh, when you start to decline, uh, mati. In the uh, definite form, it, it you know it's so it the only place that we get this India here this weird ending is in the accusative. But this is the oblique uh, mate. But in the uh, nominative, you get the a red um, mate, and you get mate in the um, in the what do you what do you call it? the absent. So, all in all, we here have a uh, this this perfectly fills out uh, the first part of this stanza, and it only took us forty five minutes. Isn't that great? Um, I udi matigya. So, we need a verb meaning like to give. Um, and we need to start, oh my god, I actually just found a word in the, <laughs> this word actually fits the, the meter perfectly, and it's even already an imperative. So, o tutulide fits perfectly with the first two feet here. So, <laughs> couldn't have been easier. So this is a very formal way of saying give. Like, um, and the person could, could say, um, so give, give strength to me, or to maybe like do something poetic like, um, 
this person or something. So uh, I have um, uh, this could be get. I have a word get right meaning uh, meaning this. Yeah. So get get by got. Oh no! Even better. Do I have a word like like specifically means human? I think I do. Um, Kulir. Oh, but it's got the wrong. Uh, it's got the wrong stress pattern. Oh, whatever. Oh, wait. Duh. Uh. This could actually be fun. Um, what if I? So, my my issue here is that I need. We've got a short vowel here in, ke, which um, combined with the by here, um, fills out the I amp here, and then we have ancaps in the last, uh, at here. Which, if you don't know what ancaps is, it just means that. In the meter, the, the meter doesn't care if this syllable is long or short, and it's usually in the in the end of of a, of a string of uh, metrical feet. Um, you see that as well in a lot of um, classical poetry, um, in in the like in Homer, for example. And so, what could be funny? So I could ditch the k here and just make it give. Power to the human, um, which would be kule, kulerus, kule, kulerut. So we have a word, uh, a, a line here reading ayu di matik yao tutuli de kulerut. No wait, I I udi matik ya. I udimatik ya o tutulide kulerut. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I say it's fine as in like it's good. Um, one thing about Adian uh, prosody and 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 the meter and such is that you've got some vowels that are just um, short by nature, like a, ah, a ah is always short, you cannot have a long a, um, u is short, and e is short, e and, uh, o are always long, um, except they're always long when they're the, the stressed syllable of the word, um, but they also kind of define where the stress falls. It's uh, a little convoluted. Um, so, um, but the, uh, they're in. The, you can decide whether or not they you want them to be um, long or short in the at the end of a word. Isn't it getting a bit dark in here? Or is it no? Okay, so I'm I'm lit just fine. It's just that the sun is starting to like set a little bit. So this line says, uh, "Oh, Udi, uh, give, give, um, give strength to this human." And I'm thinking, like, we need to like in an a sentence saying, like, in order for something. Um, um. Oh, I actually made a word just the other day, a wonderful word, which means to, like, uh, purify. And essentially, like, um, so you, I guess it could be used, it, it's usually used when, when talking about um, making charcoal, because you, in a sense, um, purify the, the wood of all moisture of, everything besides the carbon itself. 
Um, and and that's how many words do I have? A lot. Uh, <laughs> at least I think it's a lot. I know there are people who have much many more words than I do, but I'll just do a quick counting. I'm not I'm not counting right now. Just I gotta get to the top so I can mark them all, and then I just um, go off of like uh, how many like entries uh, I have. Wow, it is lagging. Then again, I am running music in the background, so. Well, this does take some time, huh? Oh, there, there's like a string of names. Uh, oh, oh no. Why'd I have to do me like this? Oh no. Oh, okay. Right. So what you what you what you can see right now is that it's it's scrolling way. <laughs> okay. So essentially, it was lagging a lot there. Um, I have about two hundred words, probably more like a hundred, like a thousand. 1,150 words. It's probably more uh, accurate because I do add these um, little um, like explain explaining uh, uh, things here, and th those should be like taken into account because they're not entries in themselves. But but around. 1,150, I'd say. And, like... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, um... At least, like, it feels like I've I've done something. Like, I... It's not that, that long ago that I took a look at my, my, um... My old, um... Like, my first con line. And it was, um... Like, I, I was sitting there with it thinking, like, back then, I thought, well, yeah, this is, this is like, uh, this is a complete con lang. I, I made a, I made a language, and, but, like, looking at it now, it's, it's, it's two pages of, like, and half of it, half of it is, like, is phonology, and the rest of it is, like, uh, a relix of the Japanese that I knew at the time. And not even that, like even less, because it's it's two pages. Anyway, I guess that's just a a, a a sign that I, as a conlanger, have grown. Anyway, back to the <laughs> back to what we were doing. Um, I'm gonna turn on like some light here. Uh, because I always get like kind of freaked out when it's dark. Um, what do we want? Do you want the the this one is sort of pink-ish. Don't know how it shows up here. Okay, so you can't really see the color of it, but it's it's definitely pink right now. I think I'm gonna uh, stick with the with the pink theme. I'm already, I'm already pink here, so. Um, so, this person is, um, singing to Udi, please give me strength, in order to, what? Um, in order to blow on the, c the cinders? I uh, I have a, I just gotta check that I have a word, like a conjunction that would fit well here. Rule number one of first conline starts with first conline. I mean, yeah, I know, I can see what you mean, but <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
Oh wait, I don't need a conjunction. I don't even need a conjunction. Um, so I can just wait. I'm gonna turn on this light here. Um, right. I had a word for to help. That was what we were doing. Like to give a hand. La lande. Uh, the la lande. Okay, so la lande could be in the. Oh. Would that be la lama? Oh no, there's the. Um, there's a Spotify ad again. So now I have to check. Um, uh, because there is a special class of verbs called de verbs, and these all end in de in their um, imperative form. So this in the by. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. Huh. Okay. Why did I not expect that? Okay. So, that would be la lamba. So, in order to help, Okay, so you help someone in the indirect case. Right. Okay. So, bet is what we need here. Th that's the... Um, that's wrong. It should be... That? Right? Yeah, that. Um, it's... Um, it's the first um, person singular pronoun in the indirect case in which you help someone. So you help someone in the indirect case the way you um, punch someone in the accusative case. case. Um, okay, so, so, um, so in order to help me um, quickly, perhaps, um, uh I have one word meaning fast. That won't that won't do. Especially because this one doesn't fit fit the meter. And something I've I've realized after reading Homer is that like in in classical poetry people would just invent new forms of the word just to make it fit the meter like there are several different versions of Achilles name that both sound like Achil Achilles or, or Ach Ach like Achilles, Achilles uh, stuff like that but that are all made up by the by the poet or I guess the the, the rhapsode um, just for the sake of the the metrical um, uh, content, the, the 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 just to make it fit the meter. Um, I even think I think this is actually like a reduplicated. I think there's a reason that this one has two Ds. Um. No, okay, so we're just gonna uh, ditch that, ditch that. Um, we need a new word for fast. Any ideas? Any ideas for, like, something from which to enjoy, no, to derive. Why did it say enjoy? Something from which to derive an adjective for uh, fast or quick or, like, as in... Um, Something like that. In the meantime, I'll uh, get uh, my document for 
proto Koteko Pekin. Um, and see if I can I can find something that would uh, be fitting. Because this is where I this is where I have all my roots. Or actually like if anybody wants to wants to like just give me a word that I can loan from Oh yeah to run. That's that's correct. Um uh have I not written the root for the run? Oh wow, I have not written the written down the root for to run. Hey Hilton. Don't think I've um seen you um since, like before. Um but uh good to see you here. Um right so you, what you can see right now is I'm uh writing in the root for to run, which is key. Um um and so we could we could just reduplicate that right like as like an adjective going from key to kiki right yeah kiki that sounds fast as well so Also, there is no okay. So it, if it's reduplicated, then it needs an adverbial form. Uh, okay, right. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Thorn is just. I mean, thorn is. Uh, like. I don't know. It just it looks very it looks very much like a Latin letter, which it is. I I know it's like derived from uh, from a rune. Uh, Thori says, but I know it just fits the the Latin letter uh, aesthetic very well. It's and it's a beautiful letter. So that kiki uh that kiki la lam la lamba uh and so what we decided back then many months ago was that you help something someone with something in the oblique case right Huh. Um. Um. Uh. So, what what is Udi going to help this person with? Udi is going to help this person. Um. Dispel the water. Maybe. Um. Oh, maybe it's something with the um, with the steam. Um, uh, maybe like help me lift or, or raise uh, the steam, right? So this could be surely ah, okay. Out of all languages that use the Latin alphabet, I think Icelandic uses the best. The Ice Icelandic? I mean, I, I guess I can kind of see what you mean. But... Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's a matter of taste, I, I, I would assume. Um... Uh, 
God. What are we looking at here? Well, this is um, an imperfect nominalized form of uh, the, ver the verb a. Uh, um, uh, which means to like raise or lift. It also means to open, but it's due to how alien doors are are made. What other language has thorn and f? That's true. Didn't like, but like then again, like Icelandic, the f is such a uh like. What do, what's the word like? Um, it's such an obsolete letter in Icelandic because the sounds like the voicing between uh, "tha" and "the." Those are in in I believe they're in complements or distri distribution. So although it does look pretty, um, yeah. Uh, there's even like like a meme uh, uh, going going around uh, in Iceland right now where it's like if you ever feel useless useless remember that there's such a thing as an uppercase F. I love how Iceland but the acute accent on on e triggers me. How well, how come? I'm actually kind of curious about that. How uh, where does that come from? Alka unau unau ya. Alka alka unau. Uh hmm. So we've got a word here, unu. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Um, um uh unu here, it means a cloud, but it can also mean uh, in, in the plural, especially in the um, definite plural. Uh, uh, definite plural. Um, it means uh, steam. So it, I'm trying to do like a sentence of, like, uh, help me raise the steam. Um, um, oh, this song has lyrics. I don't like that. And now there's another ad. How? Why am I getting all these ads? I think I might actually just turn off Spotify. Yeah, I'm turning off Spotify just because uh, it's with all the ads and everything. Okay, so here I got at kake, at kake unau, unau ya, kake unau ya, unau ya at ka. Dautu. It's just another word for um, for rapid or um, quickly. It's in, in the adverbial form, which tells us that 
um, it's more about the relationship with like between the agent and the action itself. That both of those are fa it's it's convoluted, and I'm tired, and I don't want to explain it. Um. So new sentence. I would imatik kia o tu tuli te kulero te kiki la man te kiki te kiki la I I cannot speak right now. Te kiki la lam pai I what? Te kiki la lam pai a kake unau ya tau tu. All right. I I got through a whole entire sentence without choking. Um. So, oh, um, Udi has a few alternative names. Maybe, maybe I can use those. Um, uh, at r slash conlang sounds nice. Oh, at me. Oh, oh, thanks. Pop, 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 pop. Udi. So I did have an alternative word. Did I not? Oh my word. I do not have a like a uh, Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that uh, right now. So he is a blacksmith kind of guy. Well, that is what he is. Um. Um. Do I have a? Do I have an augmentative? I'm pretty yeah, of course I have an augmentative. Uh tipu tipuku. And tipu how does that uh decline? That's typu. Okay, so now we have an alternative name for Udi. Oh, hey, Davi, um, see you, um, at some point. It was, uh, fun to have you here. Um, so. Tipuku. Which, um, uh, hmm. Taibuku. And this would take... What kind of nominative? That would take the S nominative, yeah. And we'd be looking at uh mm. and we oh, yeah. are Accusative, just as in this other word. Uh, alternative noun for Udi. Um, so this would actually be perfect for starting Um, for starting the line or stanza is it called stanza that's not really a term we use in Danish um, so type book um, so this could be like this next line could be sort of um, um, establishing some truths 
about um about the god about Udi talking about what what are his uh qualities and such um this um so type type bukus so i want to do like uh udi is uh strong basically imdu tapukus mm i don't like that do we have another word Tapukus mataktuba. Tap. Taipukus mataktu. Mm. Hmm. Taipukus ba. Oh, would that mess with the. Uh, type of mat mataktu. Type of mataktu ba uh, baika. Mataktu baika. Baika. Um, I'm just repeating the word over and over again. Um. Pop, pop, pop. Let's see. Um, so, Udi is strong. Um, something with Like strong enough for something, something, something. Uh, I don't freaking know. Yeah, it 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 is because you're. I mean, you're constantly trying to like. Figure out, does this feel like, does this sound right, does it... Hmm. Do I have any fun constructions? Oh, okay. I have an idea. Um, uh, akalate, akalate, dang it, akalate. That's too many syllables. Hmm. Maybe I have another word for strong, hopefully. Because it, I'm not, I don't, I'm not here to. Ba, 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 ba. Type, type, 
is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe. Type focus ma taktu, taktu, mm, type focus ma taktu, baikka. Uh. Oh, see you, Ben. Um, and uh, great to see you stay, Hilden. Hmm. Hilden, um, do you have a word for big in a, like, no, big, not strong in a kind line that I can just alone wait no that wouldn't work in this case no there is literally no way to fix this um um ah uh. I'm just going to look through all the adjectives I have and see if there's a fitting one that would fit the meter. Um, miga. Uki go nah it thought but thou thou mm ne makimu makuma gibi uh shao shumate o kimto unto tafo nimsu Mm okay so I could use ukao Nesha Libo, definitely not Libo. Alkituli Shuda Oli Gemasesh Kaptu Itaiko Tusiba Vameba. Okay, please. Udrat. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's not gonna 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 fit the meter here, unfortunately. Oh, what was that? Was that a word for nope? This is just me uh, zooming through my my list of endless list of adjectives. And none of them are ordered in any way, shape, or form. Kukamatu. Kikioki. Nummi. Baldo. Grandi. Yeah. I need something that has. That's an IM, but that's. Wait, no, does that even Tai Bukustara by Tai Bukusma Tai Bukusma Tak Tak to Baika Ah Taipus ta trambaika. How does how did it even make this work? Type type bukus. That's the dactyl. Mataktu. 
Bye, ka pa pa. Ah, now I see what's going on. Which is what? Okay, so I can solve this problem. I need some. I need a, an adjective that would work here, and which is an iamb. Etho undu. Ah. There were just like for every call. Yeah. Could so confusion is one word but the but the infix owl is uh it's like an emphatic or something wait so i actually and it did find one that worked but now i went away from it so now i gotta find it again Chevy Kiki Beto Ibu Mam to will me, all me, must be a kid up. Loito attach me. Go right, okay. This one says Taipogus is like strong but like uh, very stern and strict, basically. Taipukusu kao baika. Taipukusu ukao baika. Baika kalat. So it goes. Oh, it's not, it's not perfect. Still doesn't work. Akalate. <sighs> okay. Unless I just type Pukusuka. Wow, this is definitely um, tougher than I thought. I'm gonna write this this sentence, but after that, I'm I am quitting conlanging. Okay, so the the problem here is, I really want to fit in the word akala te, and the only place this that this would uh, fit is in this section here of the meter that I've marked. And right now, tai pukusukau baika. That is tai pukusukau baika. Huh? Tai pukusukau baika kalate. Wait, it fits. It fits. <laughs> no. It, 
It doesn't. I thought it fit. Uh, <laughs> it's because I keep thinking <laughs> because there are some um some word final a's uh like the a in in this one here this a can uh be long in like if you want it to be due to how it, it derived there are some dialects where it, that a is still long it's a nominalizing a so it's a it's a verb um astu which means to lengthen or something like that. Astu and it gets its nominalized form in asta. And that A in some dialects is still long, but in in sort of the the dialect that I'm focusing on when I'm conlanging is one in which um phonemic vowel length was lost. But in the poetry they still sort of treat it as this like it can be long, it can also not be long. Um, this A, however, is not one of them, and it's, um, dang, oh, I really thought, I really thought that would, um, check out. Maybe I should just, so, tanta right, okay, so, if I can make, if I can, if I can find a verb, oh yeah, just uh, go right ahead, Hilton. Um, you're the only one watching. <laughs> if I can make a word that, oh. If I can find a verb that that um that is a long stem then i might be home free actually oh uh but it needs to be an i am uh an i am um This one needs there. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. <laughs> D no. Mm. Where's the Hmm. What I'm doing right now is, um, um, is I'm looking for, oh my God. I found it's perfect. Okay, I found the perfect verb. And it was the verb I was going to use, um, but later on, but now I'll just use it here. Um, it means to attach something. On something else. There is an there is a hornet outside. 
I can hear it. It's big. Um, Lame. So when you got. Time focus pa mega. Ai. Aka la. La te. Aka la te kit. Um. It's definitely there. Um, so ooh. so Udi bestows upon the the human um hmm kalate kitna let te te kit uh, akala Ai akala te kitatta tanta akala te kit Now we need uh okay so you're back um I can tell you I'll tell you what I fixed the problem I found a verb that fit and now I can make this this noun fit into the meter, and now just so I'm gonna say, Udi bestows upon the 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 singer, like addressing talking about themselves in in the third person, the singer. It can also be interpreted as an imperative, but I don't. That's not what I'm going for here. So, uh, bestow upon the singer. Um, oh, something about fire. And now, I, my point is, um, akala da 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 bam ba bam bam. Woka, uh, no, fire, fire, fire. Yeah, I got this, I got this, I got this. Um, what? Do not have a word for fire. I know I do so in in old Adian, but surely, um, oh, I'm not translating a, a poem. I'm. Uh, this is like. Right, you weren't there for like when I um, described what I was doing, um. So. Yeah, so what I'm doing is, this is a piece of poetry um, that is supposed to be sung, uh, like recited, when you're boiling water, like when you're ev evaporating water to extract salt. Um, because there's this whole belief about... Um, so about different professions uh, and different kinds of tasks that are uh, associated with different uh, gods. So, for example, if you want your um, 
your plans to grow faster than you sing to the god of uh, associated with that um if you want um uh i don't know if you want more luck in in hunting then you address the god of hunting um and so if you want to make the fires the cinders burn faster and and with uh, greater heat then you need to address the god of uh fire which is udi um here and and the whole reason that whatever person is singing this um is at is is trying to get those cinders up and running is that they're trying to um they're uh trying to evaporate water from like a, a so, uh, like um like salt water so they can extract the salt Tai pukuspa menga aia kalla tekit. Take it. Right, so. What I found out was I don't have a word for fire. Um, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I. Thank you. That's. It's, it's, it's kind of like. The whole system. Is. Um, is based on the idea that the gods have some type of divine knowledge that humans don't have um and that is you know that's knowledge about uh, truths about the world but it's also knowledge about how to perform different tasks optimally like um the, the gods are basically um a parallel to human society the gods have different niche like they have different um uh professions uh just like humans have different uh professions um and the reason that they're gods is well they're they live in in like the realm of the gods but they also um possess the greatest um uh, proficiency um, in their respective, um, professions. Um, mm -mm -mm. so, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I needed a word for fire, and it's coming right here. For some reason, I hadn't really transferred it, uh, but I think I decided that that stem was a bit weird or something. I think in... Uh, that would be Waku, which is like this, and Waku, uh, this is an Uya one, yeah, okay, so, Flame. So that's that's you know fire stuff. Whack um take it why Something was with F and R. Oh well, well I I did um. I I did get get like a word for it. It's uh, waku. Um. Oh wait, no. So this would actually be. Oh, uh, this kind of stem. That's fun. Uh, da 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 da. Wag. And wag ya. Like that, huh? So this changes things drastically. Why, yeah, why, yeah, um. 
Um, so it says, um, uh, Udi, who bestows the singer with with fire with with fire in the in the voice or something like that and this would be oh in the in, in the um, in the um, in the, yeah in the voice so that would be by by suit and I think I'm gonna hold there. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. Um, this was fun. Uh, it, I like not a whole lot of people uh, showed up, and that's fine. It was a, a good time. Um, uh, did you use any idioms yet? In the like, I think there are plenty of like metaphorical stuff in in, in this text. Um, but, but yeah, as I said, um, I'm, I'm gonna head, head out, um, uh, this one, this was, uh, fun to do, as always. I say as always, as if I've done it a bunch of times, I've uh, only ever done it, like, thrice now. Um, but, but, uh, it, it was fun, um, and, yeah, that, that's about it, um, hopefully I'll, get some more work done on this uh, freaking thing soon um, but uh, basically that was it uh, so I'm gonna cut it here and just say uh, 